Skype for business. Start a conversation with one or more people. To begin a conversation or instant message or IM with someone, all you need to do is either hover over or click on their photo. Then there's a little speech bubble right here. I'll just click there and I'll begin a conversation with Richard. He'll need to accept that conversation and then he can type back. Maybe you saw, but it was very quick. When Richard types, we can see Richard Langley is typing a message. And that's how we know that he's being responsive, through that green check mark, knowing that he's available with his online presence, and then seeing that he's typing, we know that it's the right time to contact him. And this is a great alternative to a traditional email because it's much quicker. It's an instant message. Maybe I'd like to bring somebody else into this conversation. I'm just gonna move this over here. I'll left click and drag and drop Samantha right into this conversation, and we can see her on the top. I'll type her a message, and she'll type back. We can continue doing this. Notice we have three participants, Richard, Samantha, and me. We can keep adding people. For example, I can drag and drop Isabel into this conversation. Now we can see four participants. Next, I'm going to close this conversation and have Richard send us a message. I'll choose Accept. Before, I showed you how I can drag other people into this conversation. It doesn't matter if you initiate it or not. For example, I can bring Samantha into this conversation, and Richard can bring Isabel in. You can see we have four participants. I'm just going to click there. There we go. We have Isabel, John, Richard, and Samantha. We could certainly click here and invite more people if we'd like to. And we also have participant actions. This allows us to change settings that affect everyone. For example, muting an audience. We can toggle meeting IM on and off. And we'd really only use that if we were using video or voice. We can also say, please don't use video. On this one, everybody but me will be an attendee. And then here I can send an invite with the meeting info to somebody else. And I'll show you in a future video how we can begin with this simple conversation and move into what we call an ad hoc meeting. We could switch to voice, and then we could switch to video for a face-to-face -face meeting. These meetings are great because they can be one-on-one -on -one or they could be conference room to conference room, for example, and involve up to 250 people. And that's how to start a conversation with one or more people using Skype for Business.